In this video, I'm going to show you how you can program your transmitters for the older systems. These are for the Black Widows. Now, as a side note, these remote controls are typically the two buttons, and they also share some other buttons, some other models that were used for this brand. Uh, one of them was called Impulse, it was an imported line from uh, Los Angeles, California. There was another brand, which is called Mantis, which also utilized the same remote controls, as well as the Black Widow, and they always had this two-button rectangular style layout with the red LED right there in the center. On the back, all these remotes that's going to work for this programming sequence have the FCC number on the back, which should be j 55 T1. So before I get into showing you how you can program these transmitters, there's a couple things I want to show you because a lot of times people don't understand what I'm referring to when I when I say how to program them. You're going to need to know two things. One, this here is the valley switch. If you don't know where this switch is located, you're going to need to locate this. On your alarm system right here, you notice that there's a blue two-pin plug. This blue two-pin plug plugs into the main alarm module like so. You can see it's not very long, and this is going to terminate and typically be mounted and located underneath the driver's dash panel or in the lower left kick panel, which if you were sitting in your car and you take your left foot and kick it into the left corner, that's called a kick panel. So somewhere you're going to see this valet programming switch. Okay, that's one of the pieces that you need to know. Second, I'm going to refer to is the dash mounted LED, which you're not going to see all of this. All you're going to basically see is this which is the red blinking or solid light, whatever it is. Now, when you're programming your transmitters, it's very important that your light is not in valet mode, which would keep the LED on a solid pattern. So if you see yours is in, is in a solid pattern um, mode, take your alarm system out of valet. If you don't know how to do that, get in there, turn your key on, press and hold this for about two seconds till the light goes out, turn your key off, the light should at that point go out. Now you're in an active alarm mode so that way you can actually go ahead and program your, your remote controls. So this is how we do it. You get into the vehicle, you take your ignition key, turn it on, off, on, off, on, leave it on. Then you're going to go to your valley switch. You're going to depress it for two to three seconds. You're going to hear one chirp. You're going to see one flash from the lights and your LED is going to flash one time. At that point, just grab, go to your remote controls and you're going to hit one, hold it down until it confirms with the siren. Go to any other transmitters that you have and, and repeat the same step. Hold down button one and this system will learn up to four remote controls. Once you're done, you turn the key off and it'll exit programming and that's all there is to doing the uh, Black Widow transmitters. That's all there is to it. So once again, you get in, turn the key on, off, on, off, leave it on within five seconds. The LED and parking lights will flash once. Then you're going to, you know, hold the valley switch, let it go and then hit button one on the first remote, second, third, fourth, however many remotes you have up to up to four, turn the ignition key off, exit programming, and that's how you do the Black Widow transmitters.